Okay, welcome to our second video dealing uh, uh, with algebra and age problems. Now here the problems get a little bit tougher because now we have more than one person. And here in this problem, the ages that we're dealing with of the two people, all we know is, is what they are in relation to each other. So our goal here, even before we start, try and remember that your goal should be to set up everything in terms of one variable, whether it's x or y or whatever because that will allow you to solve the problem. So let's look at it. Here it says that Ben is eight years older than Sarah. So you might be tempted to say that B is equal to Ben and S is equal to Sarah, and then to work from there. And we can and will do that. But the goal is to, to get away from two variables and turn those two variables into one. One way to do that, just from the first statement, is to imagine that uh, whatever age Ben is, right, so B is equal to Ben's age, well, Sarah, we know, is eight, is eight years younger than Ben. So if we take Ben's age and then subtract eight, oh no, my B is equal to eights, so I'll fix that. I'll use a lowercase b here. Let me fix this. Um, but what I'm saying is if you take Ben's age, right, and you subtract eight from it, so B minus eight, that has to equal Sarah's age, right? So what we've done is now we've defined Sarah's age in terms of Ben's age, and that basically allows us to avoid using S for a variable. So now B is equal to Ben's age, and B minus 8 is equal to Sarah's age, and we can move forward. Ten years ago, Ben was twice as old as Sarah. Okay, so what does that mean? That means if you take Ben's age and you subtract 10 from it, you go back in time, 10 years, that was equal to twice Sarah's age back then, of course, right? So what does that mean? Well, again, we don't want to have a B and an S here because it's just too many variables. But we know that we can define Sarah's age in terms of, of Ben's. So here, now, just be careful. Sarah's age, right, is not constant here. This is 10 years ago. So we want to take whatever Sarah's age is, right, and subtract 10 from it. So how do we do that? Well, let's rewrite this. Instead of um, having an S, B minus 10 can equal, well, Sarah's age, we already said, is B minus 8. Right? It's whatever Ben's age is, minus 8. But we're thinking of this 10 years ago, so we're also going to subtract 10. So now, that, that's a little tricky right there, but basically what I did was I got rid of Sarah's variable S by looking back to my first step here, because we defined Sarah's age in relation to Ben's. And then we said that's B minus 8. Okay, but this is 10 years ago. Don't forget that part. And we're subtracting 10. So all of this boils down to now B minus 10 equals 2 times B minus 18. And what I did there was I subtracted 8 and then subtracted 10 more. It's like subtracting a total of 18. Now we can start simplifying. So b minus 10 equals, well here this is 2 times b and 2 times negative 18. So it's 2b minus 36. And we can solve for b. And just to clarify, because this handwriting is a little bit off here, sorry. This is a b, right? And so is this. So what's our goal in the problem before we go any further? We want to find out how old Ben and Sarah are. Are currently, and we're assuming that current means that whatever you know, whatever they are now, based on this first statement, which is that he's eight years older than Sarah. So that's that's what we're assuming now is that first part. How would I solve for b? Well, what I might do is subtract b from both sides, and then add thirty six to both sides, and we'll do it all in one step. Save myself a little bit of space. You can write that as two steps if you want. I'm just combining them here. Negative thirty six plus 36 cancels out. 2b's minus 1b is just b, right, or 1b. Here, b minus b cancels out, and negative 10 plus 36 is 26. And look at that. What we have now is Ben's age. Ben is 26. Now, the reason we know that's his current age is because that's what we set our variable to, and we solved for it. b is equal to Ben's current age. So let's say that Sarah's age is 10 is, excuse me, 8 less than that. So 26 minus 8 equals what? 
Well, that equals 18, right? And that's Sarah's age. So those are their ages right now. But, you know, with all this algebra, it's very easy to get mixed up. And, in fact, this problem tripped me up a little bit, too. But what you want to do is really, you know, test these numbers out. Here, of course, Ben's age is 26. Sarah's is 8 years younger. But 10 years ago, is Ben's age twice as old as what Sarah would be 10 years ago? So take 10 from 26, and that will be 16. And that would be Ben's age 10 years ago. Take 10 from Sarah's age, you get 8. And that was 10 years ago. But 8 times 2 is 16. So it works. 10 years ago, Ben was twice as old as Sarah. So in this problem, you know, when you're setting things up, remember the, the key step is to define their ages in terms of each other. We could have gone the other way and said S is equal to Sarah. And then what would Ben be? Well, well Ben would be Sarah's age plus 8, right? And that's fine to go this way. This is the same thing, just the inverse. If we went this way to find everything in terms of Sarah's age, we could have still solved, and eventually in the end we would have gotten the same answer. But the key is to get rid of two variables and combine them into one. That'll really help you. And then at the end, to really you know test out the numbers you got to see if it actually fits the answers in the problem. All right, I hope this helped.